Hi Daimi, welcome back to my channel. I am Daimi, Princess Sahira. I'm sorry I took a while this time to upload a video. I just got back from my hometown and a lot of things have happened. I even have to delete my social media accounts except for YouTube. So today we are going to talk about where and how will you meet your future spouse. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. For male, you have to look at Venus and for female, you have to look at Jupiter in your D1 chart. If your Venus or Jupiter is in the first house, then you will find your spouse through yourself. You will look for them or maybe he will look for you. It is through yourself. Maybe you installed a dating app, um, you know, to find love. And maybe you go to social events in hope that you will find love. Yeah, so that is how you will find your future spouse. Now, if your Venus or Jupiter is in the second house, then you will find your spouse when you went to the bank or when you're managing your finances. Maybe when you're going to a shopping mall or at a restaurant, you know, when you're spending your money or maybe in a countryside where there is anything that related to bull, you know, a symbol of bull or maybe literally a bull or a cow there because this is uh, the second house, the house of Taurus. So I think maybe um, a bull will symbolize how you will meet your spouse. Now, if your Venus or Jupiter is in the third house, then you will meet your spouse through your siblings or through social media when you need to communicate with people. When you're communicating with someone, it could even be that um, maybe you're working in a sector that um, needs you to communicate with people a lot. So maybe that's when you will meet your spouse. And other than that, maybe you will meet your spouse when you go to travel to another state or another city. If your Venus or Jupiter is in the fourth house, then you will meet your spouse through a family member, maybe through your mom, maybe through your relatives, and um, maybe in the neighborhood. Maybe your spouse is around the neighborhood at the time, or maybe your spouse is your neighbor and live near your house because you will meet him near your house, near your family member. Now, if your Venus or Jupiter is in the fifth house, you will meet your spouse in a concert or maybe when you're going on a vacation because you will meet your spouse when you're enjoying life. And if your Venus or Jupiter is in the sixth house, then you will meet your spouse through a daily routine kind of thing. Maybe you went for a jogging or maybe when you were going to, to work, you know, you meet your spouse on your way to work. Um, and maybe when you are doing something that you like, your hobby, and maybe you went to a place that you always go, so there is where you meet your spouse. And if your Venus or Jupiter is in the seventh house, then you will meet your spouse in a wedding. Maybe you went to your friend's wedding and you meet your spouse there, or you're doing a business. Um, and then you meet your spouse, he is buying something um, that you sell and that is how you meet. It is either through a wedding or through a business setting. If your Venus or Jupiter is in the 8th house, then you will meet your spouse when you're managing his money. Maybe you are his secretary or you are his financial advisor. Now, those people who watch this video who are secretary or financial advisor is going to think, oh my god, my boss is going to be my husband. And I also think that with this placement, Venus or Jupiter in the 8th house, it shows that you might meet your spouse around his family. So here's the thing. Here's a scenario in my head that I want to share with you guys. So maybe... Of course, we all here love astrologies. That's why you're watching my videos anyway. So maybe you give advice to someone about his financial um, by reading his uh, birth chart. And little did you know that person is going to be your spouse. That's just a scenario in my head. Now, if your Venus or Jupiter is in the ninth house, then you will meet your spouse in a long distance travel, maybe in another country or in a far city or state. And when you have become wise in life, maybe, okay, for me, with this placement, maybe you will meet your spouse after a karmic 
incident in your life. And maybe you will meet your spouse when you're following your dreams, maybe when you're、um, going for a pilgrimage, and when you become spiritually inclined. Now, if your Venus or Jupiter is in the 10th house, then you will meet your spouse through work. Maybe you are working hard to achieve success in your career, and that's when you meet your spouse. Or maybe through your dad or through a father figure in your company. If your Venus or Jupiter is in the 11th house, then you will meet your spouse through your friends, through a community gathering, s through a party, or social media. Basically, with this placement, you will meet your spouse when you're socializing in life. Now, if your Venus or Jupiter is in the 12th house, then you will meet your spouse when you're isolating yourself. Maybe when you went to somewhere quiet, you know, when you went to foreign lands, you know, isolating yourself from your family and from your friends. You went to foreign lands alone, maybe. And maybe when, you, when you're in a hospital. Because hospital is quiet, right? Or maybe in a library. And when you're into spirituality and try to find peace in life. So, my daimy babies, how are you doing so far? Thank you for staying with me. And if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this video to your friends. And subscribe to my channel. I will meet you guys on my next video. Ta da!